Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Liminal. We're your hosts. My name's Michael. I'm Amanda. And it is 7 a.m. again. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Hit that snooze button. Yes, back to bed. Thanks for coming everybody and be sure to tune in next time in <laughs> 10 minutes when our alarm goes off again. I can't open the drawer of the end table. Why? why? This game is broken. We want a refund, Steam. <laughs> Yeah. If there's yeah. a drawer, we should be able to open it. If there's a cat, we should be able to pet it. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, last time we were playing, we were trying to get out of a dreamscape of our own creation, and every once in a while we would get messages from the medical staff that is uh, maybe helping us get out of here. Uh, ambiguous. Like, they put us here, I forget whether we were part of a test. Um... Well, we could just us. read uh, about the mission right here. No, we can't. I can't zoom in on that or pick it up or anything. So. Never mind. What we can do is go into this room and look at some pretty clouds. You don't need to escape your dreamscape. You just need to look at some clouds. Oh, test pattern. Closer. Closer. Huh. Think I could walk in? No, no, I don't think you can walk in. I don't think this is the puzzle. I think it would be fun if I could walk in. I, I guess that's true. It would also be a completely other game. This one is mostly about making things seem bigger or smaller <laughs> relative to your perception. And I guess you did technically make those clouds really big. So I'm I hope, playing the game. I hope My we get an achievement. Is Dr. Glenn Pierce? This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. I think what we were doing was not playing this game for weeks. <laughs> Is that the part we're supposed to keep doing or the part we're supposed to stop doing? We are supposed to keep doing the part where we play the game again because that's what put us on the radar again. Oh, checks out. All right, here's us playing the game. Hope you're happy, Doc. Oh, I back be, to the empty soda cans. I could be taking a first aid class instead, uh, laying the groundwork of my taxes. But instead, Doc, you want me to play your little video game. Well, all right, here I am, trapped in my mind again. All for you. No other reason. No other reason. Hey, look, free real estate. <laughs> I've heard so much about it. Here it is. Here it is. We finally found it. Nice. We live here now. Oh, cool. Man, if it was this easy in real life, what a beautiful world that would be. I think we got short. Mm, we made the house too big. I think we oh. need to make the house a little smaller. I forget. In this game, can we jump? Yes. Okay. So the house needs to be small enough that we can uh, jump up that step? Yeah. I don't think there's any objects for us to mess with. Like, maybe this? Can we pick this up? The podium? No. No. No, it's just a matter of we gotta pick the house up and make gotta it. Gotta fine tune it. Yeah. So, like. That might That's be like too small dollhouse like we can get in here no nope. no there's no crouch all right there's no crouch all right a little, a little bigger. bit bigger there we go we goldilocks it <laughs> take that doc oh i want a soda give me that soda no nah, if you pick that up then you gotta pay residuals to half-life too mm. But, but I, I knew eventually it was going to notice you weren't paying for those sodas. <laughs> I think you just unlocked the secret soda jail level. <laughs> you turn a corner and they're going to lock you up for all those stolen empty cans you took. I don't think that that should be allowed because I never got to drink any of that soda. Oh, we need to be smaller. Look at that. That does seem like it's the way out. Like, how do I make us smaller? Oh, maybe a hand mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Do that. 
Yeah. Or is there a little cake that says eat me around here somewhere? Because. Oh. Whoa. Back out the house? Back out the house. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that's not how that was before, but sure. Oh, I see, I see. What? Shrink the house even more, maybe? Because then, well. No, the house needs to be bigger. It'll shrink relative to us. It does need to be bigger, yeah. But then, there's no steps gonna, this time. How are we gonna get up there? Jump puzzle. Oh, yeah, we can come go up yeah. this way. So make the house bigger out this door. Okay. Wow, one house, two puzzles. That's efficiency. That's bang for your buck. <laughs> you missed a fire alarm. <gasps> Where? Where is it? You're too short now. No. Never too short to pull a fire alarm. <laughs> and Am I too big? Slightly I'm off. Too big. No. This place needs to be a little bigger. It needs to be a little smaller. No, what? it does need to be a little bigger. I need to be a little smaller, so the house needs to be a little bit bigger. You got a 50 50 shot. <laughs> <laughs> Each time, either something needs to get bigger or smaller. It's not much of a puzzle game if you're like, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> there was no puzzle to it. Huh. Huh. That's not Glenn Pierce talking to us for once. It's just like a, it's just a boombox. A pick up a bull object that we'll probably need. Oh. Oh. The soundtrack is diegetic. And it messes up when you drag it through physical objects. Was that what's happening? I think it's, oh, it's no. size relative to us is changing the pitch oh, of it. Oh, that's like how real science works. That's... You make it smaller, the pitch goes up. That's not how... That's not real science. What are you talking about? <laughs> Have you ever uh, noticed that right. when the amplitude and the frequency change, that affects what it sounds like yeah since the sound is measured by the amplitude and frequency yep when they change by definition the sound is changing so they have it linked to the size of the box oh, okay yeah and also how fast it's moving relative to you if Whoa. you launch it into space and it's traveling quickly away from Hello. you my name is dr glenn pierce Hey, Doc. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. It's usually not the side that sparks. Mm. Yeah, this is not soothing, Doc. I'm not soothed by sparks flying. I guess we're supposed to disregard it then. Oh, okay, I'm disregarding now. What am I supposed to do? Like, if in a hidden object game, it would be like, we have to go find gloves. Oh, there's another, another boom box for us to mess with. Is this the Glenn Pierce one? Oh, this was the one that was playing Glenn Pierce's thing. This was the one we carried in. Like this is this is the hammer, so I'm gonna treat everything like a nail. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's like a garden hose? <laughs> you just drop the radio a little bit away from the neck. It'll stop all those loose electrons from coming out the end. <laughs> <laughs> we are not in a linear logical environment. It's I like I like that you can also solve the puzzle by ignoring it and continuing to walk. I think we reached the PT part of this game. Oh no. Yeah, don't look up. I'm looking up. Oh my god. See, it's This is how the fine. ghost is gonna get us. It's fine. There's no tied up refrigerator full of screaming children in there. It fell off. That's not where I left you. 
doing it just in case. Okay. Just in case cinching it caused me to electrical. solved your puzzle. You've done something. It didn't. wasn't keeping us from continuing anyway. It's not. Man, I bet you could have a really nice banquet in here. Whoa. We, are we playing Giant Jenga? I hope so. It kind of seems like we're playing Giant Jenga. What? You have to blow over... Oh my gosh. Blow over the bricks. Done. Wow. So that knocked the door all the way over here, and we're out. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go into a room that looks exactly like this one. Budget constraints. You think we could take the fan? I don't know. Like, you gotta make the fan tiny. Okay? Are you feeling warm? Why are we taking the fan? Just in case. Like, let's take the fan. Because it doesn't look like there's a, a screen over this that it's keeps true. us from... See? Why yeah. They let us take the fan. We must need the fan. That's now, there's a wet floor, so it's probably to try the floor. Yeah, there you go. Cuidado. Piso mojado. No water, no mop. Never mind. Not helpful. This is a dry floor. Well, where are we? What are we doing here? What are we doing? I am not sure. Maybe mm. the exit wasn't inside here and they just thought we might need the... I'm just going to make the fan big and see if that does anything. <laughs> I think you need to identify the puzzle first. That Call me crazy. <laughs> That's for puzzle solvers who are cowards. Yep. Like writers who use subtext just don't have the guts. I can't get out that way. What we need to do is keep our eyes out for one of those uh, shimmery doors. Yeah. This is not a shimmery door. Well, sometimes we have to go through regular doors to get to the shimmery door, you know. So, I'm just looking around. What well, if we're we... supposed to just climb these blocks? You think? I don't know. They're the thing that's here. Like, we can't pick up any of these blocks. Yeah. But, I mean, one door fell out of them. I'm just wondering if there's one pointing at the sky. No, they're just a bunch of blocks. Just a bunch of blocks. Huh. It's pretty strange that we're going into a room that looks exactly like this room. Maybe the thing that we're supposed to interact with is tiny in the next room? Maybe. I'm going to grab the fan again. <laughs> of course you are. That's the only thing that they've given us. Except for the wet floor sign. Except the wet floor sign. I'm thinking that since there's windows into other rooms, that there's something through one of these windows that's going to be the key. Mm. But, you know, if it turns out to need a fan, <laughs> great. Hey, let's uh, let's look through some windows, huh? Give me a second. I'm going to make You the... don't know if that needs to be big or small. What are you doing? I'm drying the floor. <laughs> we already determined there's no water in the... The mop bucket. That it's not a mop. Either. Yeah, because they put it all on the floor. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. Check and make. Like, they put all the water from this bucket on the floor, and then they put down a wet floor sign. Uh-huh. The floor's wet. It's not shiny, because they're tricking you. Oh. <laughs> it's like how God put dinosaur fossils. In the earth just to fool us. In the earth just to fool us. Yeah checks out to test our faith how hmm. oh, oh, oh something interactable hooray the whole window what oh i can just pick it up yeah make it enormous until we can walk into it I, we can't open it though we can, we can only go move is it there glass it. or can we just walk into it I can't seem to walk into it. I guess I'll try to make it a little bigger in case that that's the problem, but I don't think it is. It's just, I don't see a reflection. I'm not sure that there's glass. Oh, you're there. right. No glass. It just, it was a little bit too small to let us in. Yeah. 
Well, that's a tricky thing about first-person games. You don't really know where your head extends to. Yeah. We might be one of those secret cone heads. I like that idea. Like, that we're uh, straight out of a Dan Aykroyd skit. Yes. We're a secret cone head, and that's why the experiment has gone so wrong, because they were calibrating for a regular human. And they were like, oh no, these cone head dreams, we don't know how to handle these. That'll be a pretty exciting reveal at the end of the game. Yeah, I finally get to walk in front of a mirror. I can't wait to find out we look like Jane Curtin. What's up, Doc? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. <laughs> the worst <laughs> thing you can do is focus on negativity. <gasps> it won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Thanks, Doc. How are we going to get in there if we make it that big? Well, I was looking at this and thinking that it needed to be big enough to get us onto that ledge. I don't think so. But I guess not. I think that's a red herring. You may be right. I think it just needs to be hop upable for us. It actually kind of looks like we're in a pool. Look. Yeah. Like... That's why that's a diving board that you were looking at. Okay. No, it's too nope. small. Too small. Oh, calibration. Too big. Too small. <laughs> Come on now. Aha. Nope. Hmm. Too small. How do we do this where, wait, can we pick it up while we're on it? Oh, or are we supposed to jump to the diving board and then manipulate it? Maybe. I bet that's it. There's a drain there. I was right. All right, so I just need to move it over. Try to keep it the same size-ish. Because I don't think we can jump much higher than what that ledge is. Yeah. Right. Great. Now we need to make it Can we... bigger, like here. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could turn it as well. I was going to ask if, I can't remember, we should be able to rotate it, can't we? Was it like mouse wheel or something like that? I think you mm -hmm. still want it in the pool. Yeah, I'm, what I'm doing is turning oh, it around. Oh, I see. I'm making it small and turning it around, and now I'm going to make it big. With the, whoa, facing us. That big enough, a little bigger, I think. Right. Like really, it can be enormous at this point, because we can hop from the diving board into. Right. There we go. Great. Great. Oh, we made it so big. <laughs> Look at that. that was gonna happen no matter what. You could kind of see that looking through the door. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, we're gonna go through the H bag. Oh. Oh. oh, 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 my mind is blown. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I doing now? Uh, it seems like we might have to go back into the other room. We're inside oh, can't do here. That. We're inside here and we picked it up. We picked up inside here and now we're here. We can't take it through there. Yeah, so we must need to make it even bigger and then come back out. I don't know. Where's the other exit? Oh, it's enormous. So, what happens if we go back out? <laughs> I mean, it's gravity all... doesn't work, obviously. Uh, I think we are. You're supposed to make it big enough that we get up there, right? I don't know. I don't see another exit door up there. Hmm. Oh, except there is an exit sign up there, so it must just be blocked from view. So yeah, the idea is this needs to more or less fill the room. Oh no! Oh! I picked it up while we were on it and it made it small. Oh, I gotta start all over! No! That's the best part of a puzzle game is when you have solved the puzzle and now all that's left is to 
despite your inability to marshal the game mechanics <laughs> to do the thing you already know how to do. Oh, it's the, the tiniest bit too big. Look at that. Uh, oh, I finally got it. Never mind. Okay. Right. Now I need to make it bigger. Uh-huh. Plus I need to make it smaller and get it turned around, right? Yeah, since we're not going to remind ourselves if there was a rotate button. There isn't. I tried it when you said that. Uh-huh. I think I didn't try rotating. Give me some credit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's hard to calibrate the size of this thing. I keep hitting it on the ledge. Why is there a ledge? That's probably okay, maybe. Let's find out. Oh. All right, here we go. Into the HVAC, and now we're gonna look down on ourselves. Make us bigger. If you uh, pick up an item, then hold down the right mouse button. You can move the mouse left or right to rotate it. Oh, forgot. Forgot the mechanics. It's been a while. I dropped us beyond our view. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is going to be pretty challenging. Yeah, it's really hard. How the heck do we get this thing so big? Oh, actually, can you just set it on that platform? It doesn't need to be bigger. It just needs to be in front of the door. You're right. There we go. Actually, we might have made ourselves too big to go through the door if we made the castle too big. So this is, this has got to be nah, a we're fine. Okay. Oof. Here we go. Wahoo! Took a little doing, but we got it. If you introduce yourself, hello, <laughs> my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Right direction. Yeah. Is this not the way out? There you go. It's a way to somewhere else. I don't know about the way out. We've never found a way out. Which is what they keep complaining about, because that we're lost. Should be on its way. You think it's behind this light? I just want to see what the deal is with the light. It's a light. Well, I'm more know. interested in the smaller door there. You gotta be too linear with your thinking. It's a puzzle game. Yeah, solve the puzzles. No lingering, no enjoying. Those are my <laughs> rules. I forgot. I forgot that I shouldn't be exploring or having any fun. Nobody plays these games for fun. No, well, you got me there. Okay, so. Hmm. Seems like a little bit of a loop. Think Why? I can put one on top of the other? That sounds suspiciously like fun. Whoa. Guess not. Hmm. No. I kind of miss. All right. So if I go like that, now it's turned the right way. Now you kind of. <laughs> it is really hard to judge where things are. When placing them also changes their size. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I don't think we're supposed to stack them or it would not be this hard. Yep. <laughs> I'm not sure what we are supposed to do. Does one of these always bring us out the other one? Yeah. We're just portaling. Yeah. What if we have them face each other? Would you like the portal infinite fall? Ooh, let's find out. Make it a little bigger. Nope, 
Now they don't face each other. That's good. That's pretty good. Is that big enough for us? Yes. Well, it seems kind of obvious that uh, the reason we have two of these doors is because we resize to whatever the door size is that we come out of. Yeah. So we're supposed to go into one and come out the other a different size. So do we need to be bigger or smaller to get out of here? Big? Much bigger. Hmm. So we need one of these doors to be so big it'll spawn an us that can get out that keyhole. Well, Wait, a keyhole? Are we in a box? We're in a box. We just need to be so big we can stand up and open the box. All right, now let's go through the small one. See what happens. Let me turn this so that we're facing the keyhole in case that is part of it. All right. Whee! Let's do you kind of big-ish. Oh, you're so far away. Run, 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 run. We did not change size to match this door. We are very small. I think we stay the size of the door that we came through. The one you leave out of? Yeah. That isn't. Well, let's try it. I'll All make right. this door big. So both doors are enormous. Do we right. become enormous if we come out? All right, what if I make this one small? Well, not so small, but a little small. Aha! We stay the same size relative to the size we were to this one. So since we were normal size to this, we are normal size to this. And can you jump to the keyhole from here? I mean, I can look out the keyhole. We are definitely doing an Alice in Wonderland thing. Look at that. Chessboard. Ah, uh, yes. Famously, the only use of chess there has ever been. <laughs> Invented by Lewis Carroll. Hey, Smarty, guess what happens real early in, in Alice's adventure in Wonderland? Uh, she sees a crying bird that forms an ocean. No, she forms the ocean with, when she cries, but she looks through a keyhole that is the wrong size relative to her. She has to scale herself down to be able to walk through it. So what we need, I think we are supposed to stack these on top of each other. Because like we need to be the size that it takes to get through the, you know what I mean? No, I don't think it is that because it's so hard to stack things in this game. Yeah. Because of the whole perspective thing. Mm -hmm. Then again, I kind of can do it. No. Mm, it's not sticking. Damn it. All right, so how do we get to a size that can go through this? Assuming we're supposed to physically pass through it. Where uh, else? Can we interact with anything through the keel? I tried. There's I no prompts, right? I didn't see any prompts or anything. Okay. Can't. Can't grab anything from there? No. I mean, I'm a little confused as to how we're supposed to be keyhole sized, but also high enough because it's too big of a jump for us. Yeah if we were keyhole sized. Like, it really would make the most sense if you could stack these. Or if you stacked them in such a way that when you came out of one, you could hop on top of the other. Maybe this would do it? Maybe that would do it, but we're too big to fit in the other one. Oh, you're right. We need to be smaller. All right, let me make this big enough. Now we are small-ish. Now this is about the right size for us. Oh man, it's hard to hard to calibrate. Come on. 
How do I, uh, how do I do this? Oh! Can you like jump and let go? No, can't not while you're jump holding. holding it. No, this is a tricky one. It's really rough, and it's kind of the physics of the room or the game that's fighting us more than the puzzle itself. Yeah. I'm not sure that we've got the puzzle 100% figured out either. I think we've got the puzzle 100% figured out. <laughs> I could just get it. I could just so, get it. So, so your plan is what? We go in through the bottom one and can hop from the top over? Yeah. And how do we know the bottom one is going to get us to be keyhole sized? Because we stay the same size relative. Whatever size we are relative to the door we go in, we will stay the same size relative to the door we go out. So the door we go out needs to make us keyhole sized. Yes. Which is what I'm trying to do. But wow, is it, it is so hard to do things in perspective when putting them in perspective changes their size. And also, maybe this isn't it. I don't well, know. you might have just cheesed it. Let's try. Oh, it was a, it's a little bit too fucking small. <laughs> God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. oh, we just really, well, it got confused by that. Yeah. All right. I mean, uh, I, I sort of suspect that the actual solution has to be a little bit more elegant and require less kludge, <laughs> less dropping of things that aren't designed to be stacked. Nevertheless. But you're determined. I'm going to keep trying this until you tell me what this other solution is that you've come up with that's more elegant. I'm thinking. <laughs> Weren't there other ways to rotate these things? Like, if we're the right height, if we get ourselves to be the right height, can't we turn one of these into a ramp that we can walk up? Um, I can't turn them that way. I can only turn them laterally. Mm. Like the, we the, can't change the pitch. No. Maybe the problem is that I am trying to stack them. Wrong. Like if I come on. <laughs> oh, this is a thing we do for fun. <laughs> Sure is. Ah. I need it to be a little bit bigger so I can walk into it. Okay. This is big enough to walk into. Yeah. I cannot change the size of that one anymore. That one's fixed. Now, if I could just get this one. To stack your smaller one up there. Much but that's going to make us too big. We won't be able to get through the keyhole that, that side. Well, wait, no. No, we'll be relative to that this. So we will be too big. So I need it to be where it is, but smaller. Uh-huh. But not... <laughs> this is so frustrating. Okay. Find another way to do this. Tell me it, because I'm mad now and I can't do this. What what else could we do besides what I'm doing? Because this this can't be it. It's too hard to get it to fucking stack. Yeah. Like what else gets us to keyhole height, assuming that we can physically walk out the keyhole? Like the keyhole, can you like leap for it? Will it let us stand there? Like, I'd like to be convinced that we can actually go into the keyhole. What? 
literally what else could there be to do in this room? Look at it. There is only a keyhole. There's nothing else. Unless we are supposed to Alice in Wonderland it and find a very, very tiny hole to get down to. But the fact that they have pointed the only light at this um, and have a light shining through it to, yeah. to call even more attention to it really seems like the game is saying, hey, go through the only aperture we have given you in the game. I would love to be convinced otherwise at this point. I don't, I don't want to keep trying to stack these. <laughs> this sucks. Mm -hmm. In fact, should I pause it? Sure. Okay, as happened the last time that we paused this game, we paused and like. Five seconds later said, oh, it's this. And Not now... that we mind too much. We took a restroom break. <laughs> Rearranged <laughs> got, things. Got a drink. The uh, funny thing was, is we found that if you leave the game running for long enough, it assumes that you're completely stumped and it just solves it for you. Yeah. So we actually had to make our break even longer <laughs> to reset and then set everything back up. But, uh... Oh, we're a little bit too big. No. Come on. <laughs> But for the record, uh, I was almost there. You where were. I talked about using these things. I thought that maybe we could put them in a slant and walk up them. But it was the same idea. We use these as steps once we're the right size. Of course, we're still not 100% there because we still got to figure out how to the get right size. us the exact right size to get through the keyhole. Right, which is kind of hard to judge when you're not next to the keyhole. But that's what you got to do. And then build your stairs again. Right. Yep. So we got to build our stairs and then find out if we guessed right about our own height. Yeah, if this takes too long, we'll pause again. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we could jump that, right? Probably. There we go. Here we are. And, and we're still too tall. No. I mean, do we get smaller? To this is the only way out. This has got to be. It's got to be this. We need to be so small, though. Come on. <laughs> okay, now we're very tiny. So tiny that I feel like it's going to be a challenge to jump high enough. I know. Believe me, I know. Well, no. we thought we had it figured out because we had steps we could hop up. I'm pretty sure that the steps are the right way to go. And it's just that... Um, like, There's no way we can hop that high. <laughs> if we could just run up this ramp... That would be so much easier. Like, if I could Get just some ramp, repelling gear. Like, let me run up this. I could do this in real life, I'm pretty sure. We've been watching people in parkour videos. They could, you know, <laughs> uh, put some spit on their sneakers to get a good grip. All right. Like, you see the, the solution that we're going for. I'm going to pause it again while we try to calibrate the sizes it's kind of boring watching us rebuild the steps over yeah and over that's again. that's really annoying so we're going to come back when we actually are able to fit through the keyhole talk to you then we were wrong about how to solve it turns out it wasn't steps uh, <laughs> we messed around with steps a little bit and then it occurred to me that um all right so the the clue was actually in what happened when we were on pause the first time, I said that the game solved itself. It thought we were stuck. So it removed one of the doors, and when you walked through the other door, you were in the next level. And that set me thinking that it, that must mean that when we leave here, we're we stepping through a door, not yeah. walking through a keyhole. Right. So we just made the other door very small so that we could set it in the keyhole. And now we will go through it. Look. 
here we go through the keyhole. If we if we went if we jumped down there and we weren't in a dream, we would just die. So when the game solved itself for us, it put us on this table somewhere. We came out on a white expanse, and that's when we said, no, we're going to reset it and figure out how to do it the right way. Oh, we made ourselves so tiny that it's going to take forever to get across this room. Uh, I mean, we don't know that we need to get across the room yet. There's just chess pieces over here. Oof. Yeah, this is rough. We've got to go way over there. Do we think that that... Oh, Oh, bring we it. bring it over here. You can bring it to us. That's the door we need to go through, right? All right. So in 30 minutes, we'll... <laughs> I think you needed it at that size so the door's big enough for us to go through. Well, here, I brought it a little closer. Yeah. So it's still a bit of a hike. Oh, my God. Are we walking on molasses? <laughs> Even just... at this size, I feel like we should be moving faster. We're small. We're so small. Look how small we are relative to the door. We're a mouse. Oh, it's so funny. Anyway, that's the reason why you play these games, is to get super frustrated <laughs> and then kick yourself for figuring out the solution. As if that isn't the way the game is supposed to be played. <laughs> the game is supposed to frustrate you until you solve it. It's genuinely not as much fun if you solve everything the first time. It can be a little hard to watch, though. <laughs> So that's where our magic pause button comes in. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, it's 7 o'clock. It's 3 a.m. Wait, it was 7. I thought they were going forward an hour every time. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I guess Time is not real here. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please nice. Prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, Have we almost eight. beaten the game? Error. Error log box. Orientation protocol. I guess not. Stand by for analysis. It's just a window. We've been here before. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Sure. <laughs> this is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Well... Is it? <laughs> uh, we are supposed to get lost in a maze here, I'm pretty sure, to accentuate the aforementioned fear and frustration. Hypothesis. Oh. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. It's just a one-way bunch of reformulating hallways. They're changing the props, but it's not like you can get lost. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. <laughs> no, thank you. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> oh, emergency destroyed. Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. a.m. again. Oh boy. See, this is why you can't let AI make decisions. A computer can't help be, be held responsible for its decisions, so a computer can never make a decision. Because it'll do this. We'll all just be stuck in a time loop forever if we let AI progress too far. Are you sure I thought that's... they just made... Um... Search engines worthless. Um, they also use like two liters of water every time that you talk to them. So, you know, there's multiple things involved. Come Does on. that cancel out if I drink the two liters of water? I mean, whatever. Whoa. This. Huh. That was fun. That was, that was weird. I, I felt like we were on marble. Yeah. <laughs> Like one of those gravity puzzles? Uh, no, don't wake us up. We just got to the buffet. <laughs> Wait, here's our clock. No! What did you think was going to happen? I don't know. 
The pizza party is canceled. I thought maybe we were going to hear Dr. Glenn Pierce tell us another one of his gems of wisdom. Who is Dr. Glenn Pierce? I don't know. Never heard of him. You hear that, Doc? <laughs> yeah, we forgot your name. I mean, are we supposed to get in the bed? Is that the joke? Hey, look. No, we're supposed hey, look. to use our wall art to get out of here. Interesting. A little bit bigger. There we go. Now we should be able to go into the sky or... Yeah. Yeah. There Backstage somewhere. Hooray! We have solved your wall-mounted art puzzle. Anything here I can take? We are getting somnus sculpted. Oh, I don't want to be somnus sculpted anymore. What if you hit the boombox? Where is it? Would a certain doctor have something useless to say? Hello. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I know. Thank you for completing the somnus sculpt standard orientation protocol. Johnny just passed Before two fire we begin the first <gasps> phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. the other one around the corner these are your collectibles i don't know why i have to point them out because <laughs> i was trying to hasten us forward just passed another two you know what i'm done man this is a team effort you're supposed to be helping me i'm not doing jail time over Hold alarms. Whoa! Whoa! Cool. Yeah. Now, now we're in. Now gravity goes the other way. I think we're still going through that exit door, though. Okay. We. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, there's just darkness up there, so. Gotta go to. What the game developers are illuminating. Now we're stuck though. How do we get to, how do we change the gravity to get over there? I don't know. Maybe there's something interactable around here. Can we Spider-Man over? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. This late in the game, all of a sudden they add the ability to climb walls. I mean, why not? We're in a dream. It's a dream. Let me dream I'm Spider-Man. It's my dream that I'm Spider-Man. I'll say it a lot of times and the game's probably listening, right? So it'll be able to hear me and realize that I've solved its puzzle. Like, are there things that I'm supposed to be jumping on to get this does not look like a jump puzzle, no. Mm. I think there's something grabbable around somewhere. Gosh, I would love it if you would point it to me. Point it out to me. Because I don't see what's grabbable. Mousing over everything here. Nothing's a hand. Nope. What about that up arrow? Nope. That's... Doesn't it seem like Aha! like it's pointing towards something important? Alright. It's still pointing towards the door. I feel like that's important. Push the door. There you go. Game designers love context clues. That's why we hate game designers. <laughs> Spit on them. Wouldn't live next to them. <laughs> Wouldn't let my sister marry one. No, okay, this is where we're going. There's nothing back there. Through the tear in the painting. Yeah. Oh boy. That's fun. You again. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective. 
Easy for me. Fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. I do it all the time. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Nothing could be easier. I'm just built different. Is that even a puzzle? Because we didn't even register it. It's so this natural. Is like everyday life for me. Yeah, it's so natural to us to figure this all out. Oh. At what point does it look like the most like an actual block? And if so, can we take it off the... Oh, shit! That it was knew a we great trick. Do that. That was very fun. Well played, Ambush. <laughs> you well like, played, you tricks. You like that, and I'm like, mm, motherfucker. <laughs> like, I get it. I get that that was deliberate and everything, and it was well engineered, but. Ooh, love that too. Uh. Oh, it's like it's operating on dream logic or something. Music's getting exciting. Oh no. <laughs> How do I? Just move it out of the way, I guess. Okay. Yep. Now we can get in. Hooray! Oh. We're coming up on our usual hour mark, which means we should be looking for an mm. exit. It does seem like we're almost near the end, though. So maybe we should keep going. Tell you what, let's keep going, and if it goes way longer, then we'll cut it in half so that we just have an hour long one. But I feel like we're coming up on the end. They keep taking the exit away from us. I mean, the game is sort of designed to make you think you're coming up on the end the whole time. I know, but like you said, the music got exciting. So I feel like it's trying to tell us, yeah, ramping up to the end. Well, let's have a boss fight with reality. Heck yeah. Well, I'm gonna spit on what reality. What is behind side. the wet floor sign? Come here. Here? Oh, just a power outlet. I don't know. I saw something down there. I didn't know if it was relevant. Yeah. No, that's that's good. Keep looking. Can I, I think I'm supposed to get on top of this thing. Maybe. Why? Because it's there. Eh, no. Otherwise, we're just going in a big loop. Uh, I think they already changed the side that that perception thing is on. Isn't it on the right last time? Mm, I can't tell. Am I supposed to grab this thing that's blinking? It does point that way, so it does make me wonder if um, the way out is here at the dead end somewhere. Since perception is not reality, maybe this isn't a dead end. Right. Um, but nothing seems grabbable. Yeah. Like, what about that green exit sign? I tried to grab that. Nope. It doesn't. Like. Okay. Well. It's either that or they want us to run a certain number of loops before something changes. Yeah. Well, the jump is not going to let me get to that. No. It has not been that sort of a game to this point, so I wouldn't expect it to change. Still going to keep trying, though. <laughs> I'm just trying to get, bump up against every wall to see if it's a... Wait. Look back and up. Uh, uh, up by the clock? Okay, it's just a light. I saw that blue artifact. Do you see that from the door? Yeah. Like you, when you were looking at the clock and the lamp at the same time, there was a blue square that there. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was something, but I think it's just an artifact of the door shape. Yeah. It's not part of the puzzle. Alright. 
Perception is not reality. But but there still seems to be nothing down here to get us out. So like Do we need to do it without looking? Do we need to look back from here? Oh, like just go backwards from here? I don't know. Just a thought. No. No, wall is still there. Wall is still there. Yep. That's a good idea though. I don't know, it plays like a failure tone that makes me think the puzzle's being reset. But you see how this is on the right now when it's been on the left? Yeah. Pleasant chime. Mm. Pleasant chime? Uh huh. Am I supposed to go backwards through the whole thing? I don't know. It doesn't seem to change anything. Yeah, it's just like more a nicer noise when you fail. And that time we did it exactly the same and it gave us a failure noise. It's almost like perception isn't even reality here. You're gonna have to pause again. Or wrap it up. I feel like there's probably only 10 minutes of game left as the thing, and that would be... Irritating. How many of those 10, 10 minutes are us running this loop over and over again? All right, I am gonna pause it. And we will come back and either say we'll play more later, or we'll come back and say we've moved on and we're going to keep going. Three, two, one, pop. All right, I figured it out. We got the chime whenever we looked at the exit sign and went in the opposite direction. The opposite direction always led us into a dead end, the same dead end sign. And when we went that way anyway before leaving, the hall number above the double doors would increase by one every time. So you had to uh, stubbornly ignore where the exit sign was pointing, always force yourself in the contrary direction to the dead end five times, and then the door finally let you out. So that's what we figured was causing the, uh, the chime and the air noise after a fair amount of experimentation. Oh no, it took away the cube. What do I do? I kind of oh, like is. this um, broken pool, though. This is really cool looking. Yeah, I like it. Like solid water. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, look. Mount Castle again. Yeah, the way that they're combining all the shapes to make these surreal landscapes is really fun. Take this with me. Thank you very much. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Can't take it any further. Can't go through the material emancipation drill. No. Oh! Nice. Jackass. They smeared it into a drawing. Yep. So, what am I supposed to do? Grab oh, yeah. the knight from the other room. The other room. Sure. Let's switch to a different one. Coming back into play. Come. There we go. Oh, the music's so exciting. While we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Hey, whenever you want to try a triggering mechanism, you let us know, buddy. <laughs> It's fun. Yeah. Now we're definitely in Portal. Hey, 
Hey, a bed. Yay! <laughs> I just put down the block and it changed the environment. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's push on. <laughs> I feel like we're exhausting our supply of dreams. <laughs> Love it. Which elevator do we like? Uh, this one. Good choice. It's definitely the best one. Ooh, I do not care for this, if only because it's reminding me of Cube. <laughs> oh, no, we, uh, these are actually a consistent maze. Like, it's not just messing with us, there yeah. is an actual... All right, the only problem is, is it's not giving us any sort of a hint as to... Oh, there was an arrow. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to keep following the arrow until I have another one. Yep. Come on, arrow. Sh show me another arrow, please. There we go. Run, 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 run. You know, in hindsight, uh, having some chalk probably would have been a good idea. Wow, Whoever next time did I this have ahead a, of us. Next time I have a dream, I'll remember to bring chalk into my dream. Very helpful. Thanks for the tip. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Uh, like has been playing for us constantly throughout the game? Yeah, but now there's a destabilizing dream weight. I feel like there was... to have that. Ooh. Uh, I bet there was the whole time. Oh, man. Neat. That... <laughs> I love it when even the stuff we interacted with, it's just completely messed up. Super fun. Wow. All so right. we go out the elevator on the other side of the room. Neat. Staircon. Annual conference this week. Exciting. We're free! Um, I don't think so. Oh, now we walked right up to the big flat boundary of the room we're in. Yeah. Look! <laughs> That's fun. And I think that they're genuinely switching it on us, right? Because the parallaxis yeah. on the left side, oh, and it stopped. Yep. That is so cool. That's a very fun effect. We've got a 2D plane on our right, but actual 3D stuff that's going to stop being 3D when we reach a certain point. Yep. There it is. It sticks. Okay. Well, you walk the whole outside. Now there's something in the middle. Just gotta follow the alarm clock. Neat blurring effect on the outside of our vision. Oh, yeah. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Oh. <laughs> All right. I thought that we were coming up on the end, but it seems like maybe we're not. So call it here. Yep, I think so. Thanks for living the dream with us. <laughs> uh, next time, for sure, we're going to get out. Unless we don't. Anyway, see you on the snooze side.
Is that, I think that's our new catchphrase, that's, right? Is that our new catchphrase? We're not For gonna... as long as we're doing sleep games? Not, how many more sleep games do you think we're going to play? I don't know. I can't wake up. <laughs> I can't wake up. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Good See night. you next time.